Hello everyone, welcome back to Study. Today we are going to discuss some soft contact lens parameter and I am going to explain these parameters with an example. In the previous video I have told you about trial contact lens parameters and how can we calculate the contact lens parameter for the soft contact lens. Right? So I have explained that how you can calculate base curve, how you can calculate the total diameter as well as the contact lens power but in this video we are going to see with an example so with the help of example we will see that how can we calculate each parameter of the contact lens which is only and specifically for the soft contact lenses right so don't forget to subscribe the youtube channel and let's see how we can calculate the lens parameters right okay so for your convenience i have made an example that a patient comes to you and you have done the diffraction and you obtain that a patient has the diffraction or the spherical correction of about plus 5 diopters right so ds means that diopter sphere it means that and it shows and it is obvious that patient has the spherical correction only right and this means plus 5 means that patient is hypermetropic so with the help of refraction you come to know about the spherical prescription of the patient and backward text distance is also considered during the refraction right so it is a distance from the back surface of the lens to the front surface of the cornea so in this case when you were doing the refraction you come to know that base uh, back vertex distance of this patient is 14 millimeters you have noted it right you have also done or you have measured the horizontal visible iris diameter which was the distance from the temporal limbus to the nasal limbus of the single eye right which is now over here 11 millimeters after calculating the pupil size you have also noted it the pupil size is the distance from the pupillary margin of the temporal side to the pupillary margin of the nasal side of the single eye so you have measured the pupil size which is 4 millimeters after doing the refraction of the patient you have also done the keratometry because the patient states that i have an occupational need and i want to wear the contact lenses it is impossible or it is not possible for me to wear the glasses so now we want to see that can the patient switch to the contact lens or not so first of all patient selection is important so you know that he is motivated because he has an occupational need he has a good hygiene and he is the good candidate for this contact lens so now you are doing further examination which were pre-fitting assessment of the contact lens so we have done the slit lamp you come to know that his anterior eye segment is clear he can wear and bear the contact lens next we have done the tear film evaluation test and you come to know after doing the shimmer test that patient is not a dry eye patient he is a normal one and then you are doing the keratometry the keratometry readings i have only mentioned the k readings because these are the parameters which are important for the calculation of lens parameters right so that is why i have only mentioned them but we are going with the step by step with our uh, last video that first of all you have to do the patient selection after the history then after the patient selection if he is a good candidate you have to move towards the pre-fitting assessment which includes the slit lamp evaluation tear film evaluation and later it is these are the parameter which is pupil size horizontal visible iris diameter and keratometry readings right so now while doing the keratometry you come to know that k1 gives you 7.65 millimeter reading and k2 gives you 7.75 millimeter reading now by the help of these parameters we can find the contact lens parameters but before moving to the contact lens 
our first step should be that which type of contact lens patient needs right so according to the patient refractive error you have to see or according to the patient's condition you have to choose a contact lens so after patient selection and the pre fitting assessment you have to choose or you have to select the contact lens either soft or hard so according to the patient need you have to see or select the contact lens so we know that after doing the refraction we come to know that patient is hypermetropic with the spherical correction which is about plus 5 diopter sphere so i have told you in the last video that if patient has simple refractive error which is either myopia or hypermetropia ranging from minus 20 to plus 20 diopters you can switch to the only type which is soft spherical contact lens so you don't need any other type of contact lens you have chosen or selected the contact lens type which is soft spherical contact lens so first step was patient selection then you have done the pre fitting evaluation now third step is to see that what type of contact lens you are going to give to the patient so we have selected the contact lens now now after selection of the contact lens uh, we have to give patient some trial contact lenses with different type of base curves total diameter and power and see that is patient comfortable or then we have to do the fitting assessment that either the fit you are giving to the patient is an optimal one or either steep or fit one so that is why before going to the fitting assessment we should give patient some trial contact lenses and we should see that what should be the values of the contact lens parameters which is base curve total diameter and power so for accurate readings we we have some calculations over here so now for the calculation of contact lens parameters we have discussed that we have three important parameters of the contact lens which were base curve total diameter and contact lens power along with these three we have another parameter which is optic zone which i have discussed in the introduction of contact lens the video uh, link will be in the description you can go and watch the video for the complete understanding but i have also discussed that how can we calculate the optic zone area with the help of these parameters right so first of all we should know that how we can calculate the base curve so one by one we are going to discuss each parameter for the soft contact lens so first parameter was base curve and i have discussed it already that we can calculate or we can obtain the value of base curve with the help of the k readings or the values we obtained from the keratometry readings so k readings were k1 was 7.65 mm while k2 was 7.75 mm i have told you the greater the value will be the flatter meridian it will be so the keratometry measures the curvature or measures the radius of curvature on the two meridians right so in out of these two meridian one will be the flatter one one will be the steeper one now you have to see that which meridian will be the flatter one i have told you if the value is increasing or if the value is bigger it means that it is the flatter meridian if the value is smaller it means that this meridian is the steeper one and over here k1 is 7.65 mm while k2 is 7.75 mm over here you can see that 7.75 mm is a bigger one while 7.65 is the smaller reading so 7.75 being the bigger reading means that larger the number flatter the meridian it is so similarly smaller the numbers steeper the meridian is so over here k1 is a steeper one while k2 meridian is the flatter one so you have now choose or you have taken the flat meridian or flat k which was 7.75 mm and how you can now calculate the base curve in the previous video i have told you that for soft contact lenses base curve is measured by 
adding the 1 mm into the flat k so flat k is over here 7.75 mm and by adding 1 mm into it you can obtain the base curve for this contact lenses or for this patient so it varies from patient to patient according to the k readings so base curve will be 7.75 mm plus 1 mm which will be equals to 8.75 mm so we have obtained one parameter which is base curve and which is about 8.75 mm for the patient who wants to wear the soft spherical contact lens and has a refraction of about 5 diopter spectacle prescription of about plus 5 diopter sphere so now next we have the total diameter that what will be the total diameter of the contact lens or what should be the total diameter of the contact lens so for the total diameter we have discussed that we can measure or we can obtain the total diameter with the help of the horizontal visible iris diameter which was 11 mm for this patient so for this patient we measured the horizontal visible iris diameter which was the distance from temporal limbus to the nasal limbus of the single eye and you came to know that it is about 11 mm for the calculation of total diameter you need to add 2 mm into the horizontal visible iris diameter in case of the soft contact lenses i have told you as already at soft contact lenses are bigger or larger in diameter or they are larger than the surface of the cornea so that is why we are adding 2 mm in order to make the contact lens larger than the surface of the cornea if we see that the distance from the temporal limbus to the nasal limbus of single eye it means that it is also the distance of the cornea or diameter of the cornea total diameter of the cornea so we are saying that soft contact lenses are larger in diameter from the surface of cornea in order to make the contact lenses larger from the surface of the cornea we add 2 mm so here we are adding 11 mm plus 2 mm we obtain the total diameter of this contact lens which is 13 mm right so again we have come to know that base curve of this patient will be 8.75 mm while the total diameter will be 13 mm now third parameter is optic zone which was the area which provides the or which is a central area that provides the power so now how much this area should be or how much will be the diameter of the optic zone so optic zone can be measured or can be calculated with the help of the pupil size of a patient suppose we have measured the pupil size of this patient in this case and we obtained 4 mm is a pupil size so in order to measure the optic zone we will add 2 mm into the pupil size and we will obtain the optic zone so by adding 2 mm into the 4 mm which was the pupil size we obtain the optic zone which is the 6 mm so with the help of pupil size we can also measure the optic zone next we have the contact lens power or the back vertex power or back surface power of the contact lens because the back surface of the contact lens gives actually the power so back surface power of the contact lens can either be state as the contact lens power that how much power of the contact lens should be so we know that contact lens power can be calculated with the help of the spectacle prescription or either the refraction you have done with the help of the trial lenses and along with the back vertex distance because again i repeat that back vertex distance in the case of the contact lens is zero because cornea and contact lens are totally in touch there is zero distance between the back surface of contact lens and front surface of the cornea that is why back vertex distance in case of the contact lens become zero but in spectacles while we are calculating or we have done the refraction we are we got the power according to the back vertex distance because there is some distance from back surface of the lens to the front surface of cornea so basically we are doing the back vertex compensation 
for getting the contact lens power now with the help of spectacle prescription or the refraction value and the back vertex distance in meters we can obtain the contact lens power so first of all we know that refraction is value for the refraction or the spectacle prescription is plus 5 diopters and back vertex distance was 14 millimeters so we have to convert this millimeter into the meter because we have said that we want back vertex distance in the meter so back vertex distance for back vertex distance conversion into the meters we know that 1 milli milli is a prefix which is equals to 10 raised to power minus 3 so we place the value of milli which is 10 raised to power minus 3 so we got 14 into 10 raised to power minus 3 meters we have converted the millimeter into the meter and we obtain the back vertex distance in meter which is equals to 0.014 meters right now we have discussed that how you can calculate the contact lens power with the formula that contact lens power equals to power of the spectacle or the spectacle prescription power divided by 1 minus back vertex distance into which means you are multiplying back vertex distance with the power of the spectacle so over here we have again discussed that refraction either i am talking about refraction spectacle prescription or spectacle power it is the same thing right so spectacle power was plus 5 diopter sphere and back vertex distance in meter is 0.014 meters now you are putting these values into the formula of the contact lens power calculation you obtain that contact lens power equals to plus 5 divided by 1 minus 0.014 multiplying with the plus 5 you obtain that plus 5 divided by 1 minus z plus 0.07 and you are subtracting it one minus you know that minus plus minus so 1 minus 0.07 you obtain 0.93 by dividing the 0.93 with the plus 5 so plus 5 divided by 0.93 you obtain the value of the contact lens which is plus 5.37 diopter sphere of this is the value of the contact lens right so how much power a contact lens need for this type of patient or for this patient it is plus 5.37 diopter but the contact lens is not available in this power so we are going to see the closely related number which is the plus 5.50 diopter sphere so for this patient the power of the contact lens should be plus 5.5 diopters so over here you can also see that spectacle power was plus 5 but contact lens power is plus 5.5 diopters so in the previous lectures i have discussed that the value of if you are using or if a patient is using a plus spectacle lens so when he will use the contact lens the plus power will be more in case of the contact lens but if you are using minus lenses in the spectacle it will be less in the contact lens so if you will calculate over here minus 3 diopters so the value of the contact lens will be minus 2.8 or minus 2.5 or it will be less than the minus 3 so you can calculate these values and if you are using plus lens in contact lenses it should be more than the value of the spectacle power and if you are using minus lenses in spectacle the contact lens power should be less than the spectacle one right so this is all about the example and explanation of the soft contact lens parameters in the next video we will discuss that how you can convert the spectacle powers into the contact lens powers either it is plus power either it is minus or in case of the toric prescriptions as well so so we will discuss the conversion for the spherical spectacle prescription into the contact lens prescription and toric spectacle prescription into the 
contact lens prescription so if a patient is having astigmatism how you can convert that prescription into into the contact lens i will also discuss it in the next video so stay tuned to stud eye and don't forget to like subscribe and share it with your fellows till then thank you so much